Dr. Levi's connection to another Summer Bay resident is exposed. Meanwhile Felicity and Cash are evicted and Leah breaks Justin's heart as she calls off their wedding. Levi continues to be a support to Mackenzie while she recovers from her recent heart surgery. He stays late to check on her and even settles in for the night to watch quiz shows with her. While at the hospital, Remy recognizes Levi and runs to tell Eden that her brother is in town. Eden reveals her brother abandoned their family after siding with their dad, despite him having an affair, and they haven't spoken in years. With support from Cash about salvaging their relationship, Eden decides to face her brother at the hospital. The siblings share an awkward stroll through the bay where Eden speaks her mind. But when their dad comes up, Eden storms away from her brother. After Eden tells Cash that she and Levi will remain estranged, he heads to the hospital. Later, Eden is furious when she walks in on the two sharing a beer at Salt. More problems hits Cash when Felicity reveals they have been evicted. The siblings rush home and Felicity realizes this is down to Tane and him wanting to permanently cut her out of his life. Cash calls the agent and confirms that Tane has given notice. Felicity concludes she wants to stay, still holding out hope for a reunion with Tane. Following Tane's training session with Harper, Felicity intercepts him, handing across a box of precious items he left at the house. But when Felicity watches him share the memories with Harper, she is infuriated. As Felicity demands Harper stay away from her husband, Harper bites back and Tane has to step in to separate them. After walking Felicity home, she asks if Harper is one of the girls he's been sleeping with. An angry Tane says she no longer has the power to ask that. Meanwhile, Harper is issued a stern warning from Rue, Irene and Marilyn about Felicity and decides to cut all ties with Tane. But Tane appeals, insisting he needs a friend right now. Across the bay, Justin is stunned by Leah's bombshell that she wants to postpone the wedding. However, when he asks for reassurance that it's only temporary, Leah can't give him that. After her insomnia persists and she can't remember Justin's offer to fix the other car from her accident, she lashes out. Filled with concern for Leah after learning she has called off the wedding, Rue calls to check in. But this invertedly alerts Leah to the fact that Justin has gone against his word and spoken behind her back. Leah storms the garage and reveals she doesn't want to marry Justin at all. When Leah returns to work, her stone-cold demeanor is a red flag to Rue and Irene. Her grip on reality slips as she's convinced Justin has been in contact with Vita Nova. Justin turns up at the diner expecting to find her, Leah shoves her possessions into an overnight bag, convinced she is about to be betrayed by her partner, 